Hi guys, Obi Dave here. And I am Ash. Together we are Obi Dave and Paulie I am Ash. Yes, we're the Strepsil. So if you're wondering what that is, <laughs> it's a Strepsil. Yeah. Yes. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah. got distracted there. Like, Happy oh. New Year. I do sound horrendous. I'm feeling better than I was a couple of days ago, that's for sure. Uh, it, to a point where I felt like very vulnerable and was like trying desperately to get myself makeup up and hair done and ready to go out for our New Year's Eve. And Dave turned up and heard me coughing and was like, no. <laughs> Which was the right decision. Yeah. I just felt really guilty about it. We had a nice night though. I, I think it was a nice night. but Bottle I... of champagne, bit of Jules Holland. <coughs> That's the way... Well, usually it's Prosecco and Jules Holland on my own. Yeah, but last year we got to go to the arcade club and we just did? literally spend an entire evening getting pissed and playing like retro games. It was great fun. Hmm. Agreed. Completely agreed. Are you ready for a new comedian to you? I guess so. Now, this is Matt Reif. I talked to you about him a few months ago or a couple of months ago because he released a special. He's got a, he's got a huge female following. Okay. He's a young comedian attractive guy that's in great shape which in comedy is quite rare okay. and his audience apparently is like at least 50% milfs that are just trying to shag him mum I'd like to fuck <laughs> yeah yeah and um, so as kind of a bit of a pushback to it his latest specially released he started off with a domestic abuse joke okay. and it's like a joke as old as time about someone who had a black eye a, a female who had a black eye and then he's like, if she could cook, then she wouldn't have had that black eye. And it's like, objectively not the best, uh, most original joke. No. But he purposely started off his special to be, because everyone associates him with just being a comedian to females. Because okay. he's an attractive guy. Right. It, it's like he came out purposely to be like, no, I am a proper comic. Okay. And showed people that he can be offensive. Fair enough. And uh, I watched the special. It was good. It was actually, it was funny. Hmm. But the reason I told you about him is because he put on Instagram, on his story, a link to his apology for that joke. And if you clicked on it, it took you to a website where you could buy special needs helmets. And I was like, that is a masterstroke. That is genius. It is. It's like That is pretty clever. Yeah, because he knew what he was doing. It's it's, it's very calculated. That joke, not the funniest, but it's not the worst. People joke about worse things all the time. They do. But when he's got a predominantly female audience, it's kicked off. A lot of people have tried to cancel him and whatever that means nowadays. A couple of Karens in the in the audience. A lot of people have turned on him because he's introduced a lot of people to stand-up comedy that probably wouldn't be stand-up comedy fans. Okay. Because of him as a personality. All oh, right. And then they see him not be the person they thought he was and now they're upset. But a lot of those people probably weren't comedy fans in the first place. No. Fans for other reasons. Yeah, they're just lusting after him. <laughs> But uh, this is one of his sort of most popular bits. We reacted to this over at the office, blokes, a few okay. months back. So I have seen it, fair warning. Okay. But I think you'll enjoy it. Sweet. So you ready for it? I think so. We've done enough talking. I've done enough talking anyway. Uh, Matt Rife, Milf and Cookies. <laughs> cookies and Milf? Cookies and Milf. It says Milf and Cookies at the top. And then Cookies and Milf on there. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I seem frustrated. We thought maybe a gift would help. I seem frustrated. A gift maybe help? Baby, after the show. No. <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. What is this? Well, don't clap. It could be a bomb. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know yet. I came to Iowa and I guess. Like, just... That's because I'm just. That's because it's Listen, guys, I've never ended a show early before, but I, I'm sure you would all understand if I had to wrap things up, right? There's, hold on, there's one more thing in here. Cookies! Are you kidding me? The blowjob's gonna have a hard time beating this. <laughs> It's like the perfect consistency, too. Oh my god. Thank you so much. What's your name? Christina, you are so hot. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. You're a grandma? You're a grandma? Let's put that shower chair to use. 
It's all plastic on the furniture. Let's make a mess, you know? <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> this is dirty talk to me. Come on. 45. 40, 45? Are you serious? Are you, fr are you from here? Really? We gotta get you out of here. <laughs> we gotta get you the fuck out of here. Minneapolis, at least. Let's just get you out. Let's just get you down the road. You're not married or anything? You bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my god, you local morons not marrying this beautiful woman who makes great cookies. Stupid. I'm so sorry. What, are you divorced? How long were you married for? 16 years. 16 years? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> little fist bump. His little fist bump. <laughs> uh, so what are you thinking so far? He's cute, he's funny. It's not offensive in the slightest, so I know no. what you're saying. It's, it's definitely doesn't seem like it's his kind of comedy. The way he's leading into this is kind of cheeky sort of like comedy. Like he's taking the mick and he's on the edge of being like yeah. naughty cheeky, but... It's, he's flirting, it's, yeah. really, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah, but in a very comedical way. One thing he did, which a lot of comics have done, is so they don't burn through the material, they record everything and they do crowd work and they release clips of the crowd work oh. because then you don't burn through the material that's for your special coming right, up. Right, okay. So that's this is his crowd work, whereas his special was more crafted bits okay. where people tried to come for him. But a lot of comics do that because yeah. otherwise you'd have to come up with new bits every week because... To get big, you've got to play the social media yeah. game and put clips out constantly. Yeah, that makes sense. How many kids do you have? Four. Oh, what? That's enough, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have your tubes tied? You do? I'm going to fucking move in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> These are my sisters. Those are your sisters? You have three sisters? Nine? <laughs> Would you like to have such a hot older sister? <laughs> Does she know she's hot? Does she know that? No. She doesn't? No. Good. <laughs> Keep her humble. You're nothing, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be stuck here in Iowa forever, unless... Unless... Uh, uh, that's gaslighting. <laughs> What's that? What was it? What did you want to show me? Was it a bank statement? What was it? <laughs> your daughter? <laughs> this is your daughter? Show us. Are you serious? No, nobody else can see her, actually. This is... I don't want Iowa to know she's out here. This is, this is your daughter? How old is she? This is the 21-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> This is a very tough decision to make, you guys. <laughs> position, but she's in, in Jacksonville, Florida. I'll be down there. <laughs> I think later on this year, she looks exactly like you. This is insane. Yes, she does. She's gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna date you for the next ten years, and then we'll, we'll trade up. <laughs> Fuck. This is about to be the most uncomfortable Thanksgiving I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because if you taste this good, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Uh, losing your kids. Losing your kids. You might find them. <laughs> no, that's bad. But if the one in Jacksonville was missing, mind your business. <laughs> Got your phone? All right, let's swipe out of Instagram and see what else is in here. Now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... No, <gasps> Here's the thing, here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. I had a lump in my breast. You had a lump in your breast? And I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram and recently. I'm 
best friends with my kids. Mm -hmm. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for ugly people's advice. Yeah, I totally did. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTimed me. With just a tit out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Cause like you know it's in the palm of your hand. <laughs> ah! Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm okay. Need a second opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Text messages. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? Maggie, that is not your angle. <laughs> Where are you right now? I'm over his shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? right. <laughs> You know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history, and, uh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm, glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally all right. <laughs> Everything's totally all right. Can I see your kitties? <laughs> Sure did. Sure did. <laughs> and, um. Well, you're a lucky motherfucker. I don't know. All right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. I bye, you. Mom. I love you. <laughs> bye, Maggie. <laughs> That's really cute, actually. Like, what would you do if, if a comedian rang you and you were hungover? <laughs> so it's like. And <laughs> you thought it was like your mum ringing you or something. If they said they'd seen pictures of my tits, I'd be very concerned. <laughs> <coughs> what if it was my phone? If you rang me and it was a comedian, mm. <clears throat> I'd be like, why the hell are you hanging out with comedians without me? <laughs> What's all this? Well, I mean, like, Kate had gone to a comedy night without you. It depends who the comic was. I mean, we've been to comedy shows before, her and I. Yeah, I know, but it depends who the comic was. If it's a local <laughs> comic, then I'd go, all right, all right. If it's, if, it's, uh, <coughs> if it's Bill Burr, we've got a problem. Fair enough. I'm like, why didn't you call me sooner and get me down there? You know, I wouldn't book something like that with Kate without Oh, you. no, I'd never forgive you if you saw Bill <laughs> Burr know. without me. If you saw Kate instead of me, you'd be fuming. Kate would be laughing, though. I'd be offended. But you'd be laughing. I'd kind of be laughing. Yeah, you'd be laughing. <laughs> okay. I had a mate like him growing up. Oh, did you? Where he's just, all he wants to do is flirt with older women. And he was a nightmare <laughs> around my mum. Oh, no. He really was. And he's just the exact same dress sense, almost. He looked a lot like him. Oh, no. And it was just all about just charm every single woman that he saw. Ew. <laughs> I know, I know. He's actually, I watched a couple of podcasts of Matt Rife. That's how I heard about him, because he was on Rogan. And then he was on... Uh, uh, guy called Jordan Peterson's podcast as well, who everyone will know on YouTube. Uh, probably upset a few people saying I watched that. But he's very intelligent and thoughtful. He is. He's, he's, he's like, he's proper thinking about each step. But it's clever. This is flirting, but when you actually hear him, like, talking and making points and debating things, he's oh, really, on that really, level. Yeah, I he's thought, really... Well, he's, I still think as even at this, like, the flirting, he's, he's on the on the ball. You can see he knows exactly what to say and how to pick up the right questions and yeah. things. Yeah, He's been a comic for over <coughs> a decade, I think it is. So, oh, right. Like, some people think that he's just a attractive guy that flirts with girls on stage, whereas, like, he's cut his teeth, you know, he's, like, he's literally 10 years in, nice. more than 10 years in or whatever, to nice. a comedy career, so... I think he's legit. I like him. Fair enough. I like him so far. <laughs> Hear them? What do you mean? They fucked them up. What do you mean they fucked him up? <laughs> Who fucked up your titties? <laughs> the doctor? Do you have fake boobs? <laughs> Fuck. Um. <laughs> prove it. <laughs> 
What do you, they make sounds. Like, like what? Like, like what, what, what sound do fake titties make? Cha-ching. Thank you guys for coming on this date with Christina and I. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me ruin this family. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck? You're lying. That did not just happen. You, was that a real thing? <laughs> no. She has a squeaky toy in her titties. And you talking to a doll. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what? I don't think that's a mistake. I think that's the best thing to have ever happened. You can get squeaky toys inside your titties? Can you customize them like a Tesla horn? <laughs> what made you get them done? Four kids. Four kids? You breastfeed? Two of them. Two of them? Damn. Because you know it goes great with cookies. <laughs> Milk. Silicone. <laughs> nice. I think I need to see more of him. Like, he is definitely dead flirty. He's dead cheeky. He's yeah. funny. He is really funny. But I want to see more. He kind of blew up because of his crowd work. But he's gone from... Even though he's put the work in, he's gone from relative obscurity to yeah. in the last couple of years. He's sold out a whole world tour. That Fair he's enough. I think he's on right now, or he's just finished. Okay. But obviously people are upset, and lots of people who aren't comedy fans have tried to cancel him, and... People just need to shut up. Okay. There's no protected thing in comedy. You can joke about anything. People Absolutely. Are, people are allowed to be offended. Well, well yeah, because like, some people like it and some people don't. That's why there's <clears> so <throat> many different types of comedians. It's like, I wouldn't enjoy it, so I wouldn't go to that kind of a show. <laughs> you would, because I'd take you. That's my sort of comedy, so we'd be going and watching that. Oh, okay. We've been, we've been and watched Doug Stanhope. That's for different. That is entirely different. Edgy. He is so funny and he's so intelligent he I, was smashed as well. I know he was. <laughs> On stage for like two hours. I know, he was yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> it was an absolutely fantastic gig. Yeah. But there you go. That's your introduction to Matt Reif. Incidentally, like that, that was the first thing I watched as well. He's cheeky, funny. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So I saw him on a podcast before I heard his comedy. Okay. And then that was the first bit I saw when I think we reacted to it. So yeah, there you go. Awesome. I enjoyed it. I want to see more. I'm glad. Right then, make sure you like and subscribe and just, you know. Tag along for more of our reactions. Cheers, guys. Bye.